and I have posted a link below and it will also be in the iCard above on the top right for all the other videos that I have on crocheted mittens. Today I'm going to show you how to do these really easy crocheted mittens. So let's get started. And I would recommend using a soft yarn such as Red Heart with Love or Red Heart Soft. And I bought a rubber thumb to cover my thumb so you won't have to look at it. I'm going to take it off right now and show you my thumb. So if you don't want to see it, just look away for a moment. So there's where the sliver of wood went into my thumb. It went all the way up to my cuticle. And so the nail bed was injured and it's growing out. And so now this is jagged. But I have no more pain in my thumb since I was able to get that sliver out. And it was in there for five weeks. So I'm going to just cover it with this rubber thumb. And you won't have to look at it because it's going to be a while before that grows out. I'm going to work with my two strands of worsted weight yarn and my 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to work a chain as long as my hand from my wrist to the end of my fingers. Okay, I've gone ahead and I have chained. I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And don't crochet too tightly for these. So I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in each stitch across the chain. To work a single crochet, insert the hook in the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn and pull it through too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the chain. Okay, I've gone ahead and I have single crocheted in each stitch across the row. At the end of the row, chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row working only in the back side of the stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row and now every row will be exactly the same. It will be chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row working only in the back side of the stitch. So I'll work all the way across the row and I'm going to continue to work this until this section will wrap all the way around my hand. So I'm going to go off camera and do that and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, I've gone ahead and worked as many rows as I needed to be able to place my hand down and be able to wrap this right around my hand like that. Now I'm going to fold the work in half. And I've marked the eighth stitch down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to stop there to leave an opening for the thumb. And I'm going to slip stitch to join the side of the mitten. And I'm just going to pass through one side of the stitch. So just one of the sides of the stitch. And I'm going to slip stitch right up to my marked stitch. Like that. And that's going to fit on my hand like that. So now I'm going to slip stitch in four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to slip stitch the remaining three stitches. One, two, and three. And that's how that will fit. So I've left the opening for the thumb. Okay, so now I'm going to work the cuff. So I'm going to chain one. So you will make one single crochet at the end of every row. So work all the way around, making one single crochet in each stitch. So single crochet all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to chain one, 
and I'm just going to reduce in this row just to make the cuff a little bit tighter right around the wrist. So I'm going to decrease in every fourth stitch. So this is the equivalent of the first stitch. So this is two, three, and now I'm going to decrease. And to do a decrease, I'm going to insert the hook in the next stitch and pull up the yarn. Insert the hook in the next stitch, pull up the yarn, and then complete the single crochet. And that's a single crochet decrease. So I'm going to continue across the row, making a single crochet decrease in every fourth stitch. So I'm at the fourth stitch again. So pull up the yarn, pull up the yarn in the next stitch, complete the single crochet. And I'm going to continue across the row. And at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. So you can see that that tightened up just that little bit. And now I'm going to work rows of double crochet and I'm going to increase to get back to the same original number of stitches. So I'm going to chain two, one, two, and in every fourth stitch I'm going to make two double crochet. So double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and that's the equivalent of the first, so that's three. So now I'm going to make two double crochets. So in the same stitch, one and two. And I'm going to continue around. So double crochet in three stitches, one, two, three, and two double crochet in this stitch. So one, and two. And I'm going to continue around. And at the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And that's how the cuff is worked. Work as many rows as you like for the length of the cuff that you would like. Chain two double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around for one more row and I'm going to slip stitch to join and that's what we have so far. Okay, I threaded this yarn end into a yarn needle and I'm going to weave through every second stitch across the end of the mitten. like that. Now I'm going to pull that closed and weave the yarn end back and forth into the finished work. Like that. And that will close up the end of the mitten. And now I'm going to make the thumb. So I'm going to attach my yarn right here in the bottom of the thumb. Just pull my yarn through. Take one chain stitch and I'm going to single crochet all the way around the opening of the thumb. Okay, I've worked all the way around the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around one more row and I slip stitch to join and now I'm going to do one more row of single crochet. So chain one, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked one more row and I'm going to work single crochet decrease to close up the end of the thumb. First I'll chain one to get started. So to do a single crochet decrease, pull the yarn through the next stitch, pull the yarn through the next stitch, and then complete the single crochet. So pull the yarn through, pull the yarn through, complete the single crochet. So I'm going to do that until the thumb is closed up. Just going to fasten off and the thumb will be completed. 
So now I can fasten off using a yarn needle. Just weave all these yarn ends into the finished work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like if you did. And please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And click on the link below to see all the other mitten videos that I have posted. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.